Hello guys and welcome back to the Olympus video gameplay series and this is my final video I think so of my gameplay of Olympus and uh, yeah we are very close to the end so let us resume I think two more arrows left this one and there's like an epilogue I think yeah so yeah we're almost close and uh, I'm guessing I'll be able to end it in this uh, video so here's the thing like you know like um, obviously this is going to end and I am going to I have plans on making videos on uh, the other major events as well for example like obviously the lost bells I'm definitely going to do but I think Requiem is coming Fate Requiem uh, the event in Fate Grand Order I have been curious about that for a long time so I'm going to make a video series out of that as well when it comes out it's going to come out on May I think yeah so I'm going to make I'm, I'm sure it'll be a short video series because you know it's like a short event so yeah I plan on doing that as well and then when Lost Belt 5.5 comes out Hey Ankyo comes out I'm going to make videos on that as well so and all the other major events so that's just what I wanted to let you guys know at so yeah Let's start then. The journey continues. Hey, uh, you up now? Oh good, you are. There's something you ought to see. I went back and forth on whether to bring this to you, but immediately, but ultimately, I thought you deserved to see it. So I just bring this on you when you're still tired, but I didn't think it could wait. So, what is it I ought to see? A video file from the God Destroyer Alliance base. Oh. Whoa. According to the timestamp, it was recorded after you guys took Demeter out. Oh, really? We're not sure exactly when it was sent, but it looks like it was right before you guys left for the Great Orbital Shrine. I don't know how they pulled it off, but the file's in the same exact format we use in Kaldia. Man, Olympian tech never ceases to impress me. Anyway, I already sent the file over to your personal terminal. We already watched it ourselves, but I'm not gonna demand you to do the same. Whether you do or not, it's totally up to you. Though I will say that Godov decided to designate them as MIA after watching it himself. There's something about the lines of we can't confirm their death, so who's to say they won't come back to us again someday? We're talking about Musashi or something. Like director, like field team, I guess. But hey, who am I to judge? We could all stand to get a little sentimental now and then. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say for now. Later. Okay. Good, the camera's working fine. Testing, testing. Good, no problems with the audio either? Okay, I'm all set to record. Now I just gotta make sure no one sees me. Oh. It's not that I want to cause any infighting, but every organization needs to perform an internal review sometimes. And while the God Destroyer Alliance might not have many members, it's still an organization. We should know how everyone really feels. I don't like the idea of surreptitiously filming them. But then again, Edison said it was perfectly normal. Oh, okay. Anyway, this is all be only be for reference, nothing more. So he's going to go around filming others? Makaios, what are you? Where are you? I could have sworn he was around here. Maybe he's in the private room. Ah. Hmm? What's up, Adele? Something the matter? I wanted to ask Makaios to help me with something, but I can't find him anywhere. Hmm, gotcha, maybe I could help instead. I appreciate the offer, but that's okay. You see, I wanted to ask him to fine-tune you and Marshall's Kironomia. Oh. Right, yeah, I probably couldn't be much help with that, not exactly my area of expertise. Well, I wouldn't say Makarios and I are experts either. Maybe not, but how many years have you guys been fiddling with that stuff? A thousand or <laughs> something? Oh right, I guess in other words, that would make us experts, huh? More than experts, a thousand years of experience. <laughs> yeah. 
You can say that again. <laughs> I see your point. There you are, sister. Hey, Musashi. Oh, good. Listen, Makarios. You want me to fine tune the Kironomia, right? I'll take care of it. Gotta make sure that there won't be any after effects and such, after all. Anyway, on a different subject, can I ask you to do something? Hmm? What is it? Well, I was just wondering what you think of the Kalians. Yeah. What do you mean? There are comrades in arms that have been invul invaluable to our alliance. How about you, Musashi? Hmm, good question. Maybe travel companions? No, that's not quite right. I honestly don't know much about homes. I barely even talk to any of the other stuff either. But I do love Master. And Mash too, of course. Hmm, really. I love them both to bits. Oh my. <laughs> this is directly. At first, I didn't really know anyone besides Master. And my first impression of Marsh was basically she just that she seemed really earnest. But then once I saw how she fought, I got it. The whole reason Master's able to live the way he does is because he's been with her all this time. Once I figured that out, well, I just fell love with, in love with Marsh. Now I can't help but smile whenever I see her and Master doing their best together. That's so touching. I just love that sort of thing. You think? I don't really get the appeal myself. Anyway, next question. Are there any requests you'd like to make of them? Maybe something you feel like they could be doing better? Oh. Huh? What kind of question is that? We're doing some kind of performance review thing? <laughs> yeah. uh, of course not. I just uh, making conversation. It wasn't asking for any particular reason. No. Oh really? Okay, if you say so. Anyway, let's see. Something I'd like to request from them, huh? Hmm, I guess I'd like them to be... I guess I'd like them to do all the living I won't be able... Oh my god. Huh? Oh, she had already planned. On second thought, let's just forget that one. Yeah, let me try again. Yeah, she probably knew something like this might come in the future. Like, like not here, like, you know, not necessarily here in Olympus. She probably thought that, yeah, maybe someday I will have to do that. And she knew that if she had to do something like that, like, the records will be gone from Kaldia. I think what I'd like to request from them is that they live happy lives. What kind of answer is that? That's not even a request. I want them to live as long as and as happily together as possible. So that they never have to go through any pain or hardships. That's the one and only request I have for them. Well, that was helpful. Eh? You really do love those two, don't you? <laughs> Absolutely, like I said, I love them to pieces. So, what about you two? What do you think of Martian Master? Us? You're the only other ones here, aren't you? Well, um, we definitely couldn't have beaten Demeter without them. In fact, the Alliance never actually managed to destroy a single god you need the game along. So, I like them personally and I just don't mean as comrades or Alliance members. Sister, if we hadn't met them while we were in the middle of fighting a war, I even think we could have been friends. Well, of course you could. Honestly, I thought you two were already friends, aren't you? I'm not sure, I hope so. Well, I could have sworn you were, so... Hmm. Ah. I've got it, somebody marked the date because this gal just had herself a fantastic idea. What? But where'd that come from and what is this idea anyway? I'm so glad you asked. Like I said, it's fantastic. My idea is once Operation God Destroyer is well and truly done, we should have a party to celebrate. One with lots of yummy food. You're right, that does sound lovely. Sure, but that only works if operation goes off without a hitch. We don't have any casualties and we have enough time to put something like that together. So I'm not sure I'd call it fantastic. It's gonna go great. We're gonna make it go great. 
Good point. I mean, the plan is for the operation to work out as intended, so why not? Then I'll have to start thinking of what to make for the occasion. Hmm, now what would be a good for a party? I I'm guessing this is that party, that little pseudo party we had with Europa. Probably that. And after they planned here, maybe they kind of... Yeah. Ah. Udon, definitely Udon. For the rest, we'll have to go around asking everyone else what their favorite foods are. Oh, and we'll definitely have to get Gordolf to make his special omelets. Oh, no, no, they, they planned in making another one later on. After everything goes, oh god. This part is going to be so much fun, just you wait. Ah. God damn it. What the hell? Oh god. Wait, wasn't there another section? Or is this it? Alright, let's grab our grail. Hmm, this is going to go to Castoria, so... <laughs> Genis has been updated. I'll watch all of this later. Mandicardo has been updated. Okay. Wait! Is that it? Wasn't there supposed to be like another one? Oh, I could have just ended this in the previous video then. I thought there was another... Wait a minute. Just a sec. I thought there was 80, 28 sections? Like, just a sec, let, you know what, let me go back. No, these are the free missions. Wait, that's it? Just a sec. Was I that wrong? Like... I remember checking out, like, I usually do that, I check out how many sections each Lost Belt have, and then start the videos. So I, I think, oh no, it was 27. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Yo, I could have ended this in the previous video, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god, that's awkward. Yeah, I, I knew, I thought that there was like a 28 section, there was another part. So I was like, yeah, like in the previous day, I was like, I wouldn't be able to complete this, so. All right, you know what? Let's make this video a little bit more longer. Let me see what I got. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my God, this is the party uh, that Musashi Talked about two crit stars and increased NP strength. Let's read the details. Oh, I have a great idea. It's a superb idea with no strings attached whatsoever. If Operation God Destroy goes as planned and we all come out of it unscathed, let's hold a banquet with plenty of delicious food. While victory was achieved, the promise could not be fulfilled. This is a record of the past, dazzling memories that remain within your heart, and yet, if such a future was possible, you humans would surely look at the scene and use it as your strength to rise up. Just like a certain ordinary master managed to achieve so many impossible things as he rests inside a coffin of uncertainty and the void. Wait, what? As he rests inside a coffin of uncertainty and the void. Okay. Alright, so we have Odin here. Adele, Makarios, Kanins, and Musashi. All the people we lost, you could say. Like, obviously we didn't lose Kanins, like, she can be summoned back. But still, like, you know. But, yeah. Alright, so, interesting thing here that we saw is where Gordal said that we are going to not, like, we're going to, like, you know, consider them missing in action. And 
definitely that like you know he was talking about the twins and uh, Musashi so I don't know like you know like I, I've seen a lot of people like you know saying that oh he's she's gone she won't come back and everything but I would like to keep my hopes up you know like anything can happen like we still have a good chunk of stories still left so I'll probably be disappointed by the end of it like probably Musashi won't come back but a person can hope you know because she's she's one servant that I really didn't want to see going away like this like like she was like what can I say like as she said travel partner and not she's not as involved with us as Marsh, Vinci, Holmes, Godolf, not as much as they are, you know, but still she was like you know present with us for a good part of our journey. And it seemed like she was one of us. So losing that person, like you know, like I don't know, like I feel a lot sadder than I think. Like I don't know if I would feel this much that uh, if it was some other servant you know like who we barely got any what can i say character development with like you know that that character got you know just deleted i would probably be sad for a little bit and then just move on but since musashi was with us for so long as they say like you know more the person that like, you know stays with you and more the journey we see with that person the more attached we get to them so that's why Musashi, like you know, the loss of Musashi is something that I don't know. I would like to hope that in the future, some way, we somehow get to see her again. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's just me. As I said, wishful thinking maybe, but I would like to <laughs> keep that little hope. But that's it, guys. Uh, I could have ended this in the previous video. I. <laughs> Anyway, so thanks for watching. Yeah, this was the final video of my Fate Grand Order Lost Bell 5 Olympus. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this uh, video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say and uh, anything else, you know, you want to let me know and I'll check them out. Okay, so one thing, I, I said this before like when I started the video, uh, I'm going to like after this, the what I'm going to do is like I usually the way I do I'm going to oh I'm going to resume my um, what do you call that uh, the the voice dialogue reactions that I was doing you know weekly I'm going to resume that and at the same time you know when new events come out as I said Requiem is going to come out I'll probably make a mini gameplay video uh, of that as well and after that what like you know what is there that's going to come after that like let me check uh requiem is coming out in may i think yeah and then we have the rerun of the las vegas okay then we have a main interlude seraph what is this is this like a new thing or is this like a rerun main interlude quest what are these oh this is like some Quests or something? Wanted quest? Detour quest? I don't know. Like, can I, if this is like some kind of content, like, I'm worth making videos on, I'll probably make on them. Like, I, I have no idea what this is. I'll, I'll have to check it out more properly. Uh, so yeah, like, probably I'll make more videos if this is content worthy. Uh, then is uh, Oku rerun yeah so the reruns obviously like you know like obviously i'm not going to make videos on them but the new events and everything content worthy events i'm going to make uh, gameplay videos on them so the recent one is fate requiem i'll make a mini gameplay video on that and as usual as i said i'm going to continue with my uh, voice line reactions maybe amvs and stuff and yeah that's how we're going to do so that's it and and oh and when obviously when 5.5 is going to come out definitely i'm going to play that and make a gameplay video so yeah that's my future plans on fgo so yeah thanks for watching guys and thanks for sticking around for these 31 sections of 31 videos my god <laughs> like every day one video like it took me more than a month 
or a month you could say to complete this like that was a fantastic ride uh, if i had to rate this uh like you know a lost build i'll probably say that um i really loved the ending portion of it you know uh like the final section of as soon as we got to know about the more of the details you know uh, we got to meet koyaskai as a beast then like you know like we get to see you olga mari that was fantastic i'll have to say like you know that was amazing Mudaim's backstory was fantastic it's like a you know, 10 out of 10 um but as a whole i would still probably put Los atlantis a little bit above this because i don't know i feel like atlantis is character development was something that i have never seen in anything before like you know the amount of character development that in atlantis that all the characters went through each and every character went through a significant character development which was i don't know like i was really impressed with atlantis so as a whole these two lost bills i'll probably put atlantis a little bit higher up but the final section of olympus i would rate higher than atlantis like this is the thing you know, the final few sections of Olga Mari coming in, uh, you know, like Koyanskaya, the whole thing with, uh, you know, like the battle, the Kogudam's backstory, fighting Zeus, all that stuff. It was, it was damn amazing. It, it was fantastic. I'll, I'll rate that higher than Atlantis. As a whole, Atlantis gets a little bit extra points for that beautiful character development. Here we also had character development, but for only Woodine, Canis, and who else? Uh, not anyone else, you could say. Musashi, kind of. Yeah. These three, I would say, like had character development. But Atlantis was fantastic. The character development in Atl Atlantis is out of the world. And I'll never forget Atlantis. You know? So, yeah, as a whole, Atlantis gets a little bit more points. But yeah, we got a lot of more um, extra information of what might going to happen in Lost Bell 6. And yeah, I'm excited to check out what what where this story is going to go. So yeah, anyways, that's it. Uh, enough about that. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next FGO video that I make. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.